on to the men's program at Coppin State. We welcome in the head coach of the men's. You've seen him on some billboards around town uh, as they prepare for MEAC play. We welcome Juan Dixon back on here. Juan, what's going on, man? I saw you working the uh, the, the court, working the referees, working the, you guys on your team out at the rack last week. And uh, I know that some of these outcomes haven't been where you wanted to go, but I, I guess you're building toward MEAC play. Four more rounds here before you get going, right? Right, that's the goal, Nestor. You know, every day we're working towards uh, conference play and being able to compete at a high level. And we're looking forward to uh, getting our first win as a team. But as, as a staff, you know, our goal is to help these young men continue to build great habits moving forward. Uh, as a team, we need to figure out what our identity is. You know, as a coach, you know, I would like for it to be on the defensive end. Um, but, of course, you know, Young men, our young men love to play on the offensive end. Uh, but if they bring it on defensive end, offensively, we let our guys play as long as they play in great space and then stick to our principles. Well, I watched you guys play for uh, 40 minutes over at the rack last week. And, uh, I mean, it, it was evenly matched, and they went on a run. But then you guys answered the run, and in the end, you were a little short. Uh, but the one thing I watched, and I think everybody on the press row was watching, we were talking about it, is we've all seen Juan Dixon, the player, right? And, you know, from, from the time you were a kid, um, seeing you in the suit and how you were coaching – um, I, you know, I, I guess you're still trying to figure out how to push the right buttons and when to coach in the game and when to instruct and when to give him a pat on the butt and when, you know, when to bring out the stick and all of that. Uh, I, I find it to be kind of fascinating to watch to watch you because you're developing here too, right? I'm definitely developing every day, you know. And as a coach, you know, I want to be I want to be you know cool and calm on the sideline. <laughs> I want to maintain my composure. I want to continue to instill confidence in our guys, uh, no matter what the situation is on, on the court. Uh, we battled through some adversity uh, against UMBC. They got a, went out on a, got out on a big lead late in the first half, uh, but we kept fighting. And the thing, you know, that as a, as a staff we get most frustrated, frustrated about, that when we game plan, you know, we feel as though – you know, we really worked in practice on executing a certain game plan defensively, and we come out the first possession of the game and don't take them out of the, out of the, the set that we worked on for two days straight, and they get a wide open three. That's the most frustrating part uh, as as a head coach. Uh, but our guys competed um, offensively. We moved the ball well. Uh, at times, I had to get into one of my players about just going up strong and converting layups. Uh, but we're getting better every day, and um, we're looking forward to our game against West Virginia. Well, a couple more big tests here, right? West Virginia, you got a uh, an interesting game with Mount St. Mary's with a local uh, tie there, and then you're going to Georgia Tech, and then you're going to play Mar or, uh, one of Maryland's rivals, I should say, uh, up at Penn State up there right before New Year's Eve. So a couple more big games. Getting ready for the MEAC, what what do you want to see for your team? It's, it's all about defense, right? Just, just defensively, Nestor, I want us to be sound. You know, because it's going to be nights where we can't make shots. And we had plenty of nights like that so far this year. But we're starting to get a better rhythm offensively. We're starting to make shots. If we can be sound defensively, you know, I'm not saying whole teams at 30-something percent shooting. It's low 40s, all right? And then we compete more on the defensive, uh, defensive side of the uh, – defensive rebound. We can be, compete more with defensive rebounding. We're excited as a staff because the MEAC is very competitive. But we're also going to see quite a few teams size-wise, talent-wise, on our level uh, and we think if we compete, we'll give ourselves a good chance to win a lot of basketball games. Well, you certainly rotated a lot of kids into the game, and maybe part of that is you're trying to figure out the best combinations. And you know, nobody on your team's playing 40 minutes right now. Everybody's rotating in and out. Yeah, I mean, we have some guys injured, that some key players, um, the things we want to do moving forward. Uh, so right now we are just trying to find a rotation that is solid for us. That you know, guys want to go out and execute on the defensive side of the ball and be confident on the offensive, offensive end. So it's, it's, we're having fun trying to figure things out, guys. We had a great practice yesterday. Looking forward to having another great one today. We're going to continue uh, to work 
and play towards the bigger picture. And that's just competing at, in the MEAC at a high level. Friday night, you can go see the Eagles play and see Juan take on Mount St. Mary's over at the Coppin Complex and Arena as well. Juan, always great to visit with you, man. I'm going to send everybody out to Coppin State Sports. We'll be following along once you guys get this MEAC thing going in a couple of weeks, and it's, uh, it's always good to visit with you. Have a great holiday after this West Virginia too, game, buddy. all right? Thank you so much. Good weekend. By the way, the ladies are down uh, next week for about 10, 12 days. The men continue to play. They're at West Virginia on Wednesday night, Mount St. Mary's Friday. Then next week they play at Georgia Tech on Wednesday and at Penn State on Saturday. You will hear Friday night's game here at WNST as well as the Lady Eagles against the Terps on Wednesday. You can find all that information out at CoppinStateSports.com. We are your home for Eagles basketball all winter long here at WNST.net. Anything you miss here, you can find in the buy at toyota.com audio vault 24 hours a day from anywhere in the world on your mobile device by downloading the tune in radio app we do come in crystal clear from anywhere in the world you happen to be the morning newspaper ships to your email inbox at 7 a.m that's all brought to you by planet fitness and planetfitness.com where it is still 10 bucks a month to get in the best shape of your life guaranteed last but never least facebook twitter linkedin snapchat instagram streaming live right here on our facebook live as well as our youtube WNSTV channel. We are WNST.net AM 1570 and WNST Towson Baltimore and we never stop talking Baltimore sports